once you have an app written to send commands to your Arduino or your Nano Mouse, it's time to go ahead and write a program for the Arduino that will receive those uh, messages and do something intelligent with them. We're going to go ahead and create a new program because it's only going to be about 30 lines of code. And we're also creating a new program because it doesn't really help us too much with our end goal of trying to solve, make the robot solve a maze. But this is a lot of fun, so we're going to take some time to do it. And it also serves as a great way to review some of the things you've already learned. Right now I'm just declaring servo objects for both the right and left motors. And I'm going to attach them just as we have in the past. And then I'm going to begin serial communication. If you are unfamiliar with serial communication, it's because you haven't watched Jeremy Bloom's video on the topic, uh, which you will need to do in order to understand a few of the things in this program. I highly encourage you to take the time to do that. And I will link to that video on my website. Next, it's time to create two variables that we're going to use to help us receive these messages. The first one is just a boolean value, a true false variable that tells us did we receive the message or not. And we're going to set it to false because at the beginning of this loop we haven't received a message. The next one is a character array. Uh, characters are numbers that can range between negative 128 and positive 127 I believe. And an array is just a, a group or a list of numbers. So we have two numbers that can range between those two values. And the first one represents the left motor and the second one will re represent the right motor. Now I am creating a while loop that will run as long as I have not received a message. That's what the exclamation mark here says message received not not message received so it'll keep going until we get a message I'm going to create another while loop that says while I have messages I'm going to so while there are while there is serial data available while there are messages I'm going to set my array equal to those messages. So I can say serial dot read bytes. And the reason we're doing this is because it's possible that at some point um, I get maybe 10 messages stacked up. This will actually cycle through all of those extremely quickly so that I can get to the last message which is the one that's the most important. It's the one that tells me the most about where I want my robot to, or how I want my robot to behave, and it, it puts it into our into our uh, array. The next step here is to say that the message received is true. This is going to allow us to escape from this larger loop. Okay, once that is done, it's time to actually feed those pow those levels into our uh, motors. I'm going to say the first one is the left motor. And because it only varies between negative 100 and positive 100, I'm going to multiply it by 2 so that it now varies between negative 200 and positive 200, giving me the full range of speed that this that the nano mouse has. Now I have to feed power into the right motor. And this time I'm going to have to subtract because that motor is oriented differently. And I need to make sure that I refer to the, uh, the second byte, which, re which is referred to counterintuitively as 
item number one because the first byte is item number zero. That's just how arrays work. That's it. This should make my robot uh, receive commands. Let's go ahead and verify it to make sure I didn't leave out any uh, semicolons or misspell anything. Looks pretty good. And then I'll upload it and test it.